Hi guys and welcome to my channel. This video is part of my no buy journey. If you guys don't know, I am doing a one year no buy art supply. I, it's been now two and a half months, nearly three. And in this time, I really got to uh, see and compare the art supply that I don't really need more of in my life, the art supply that I crave more of, and the art supply that if I was to buy would be just because I see other YouTubers using, other artists artists use it but they are not something that i really would have bought on my own and i actually don't want to have them in my life so i am using this time to really learn where uh, i'm heading as an artist and what are the supply i really need in my life so i'm going to split this video in three parts the first part being our supply that i already own and that i don't need more of not because i don't like them but because i don't use them enough so i cannot justify buying more of them I will then have a second section with the art supply I will never pay my own money for because I know they are not as art supply I'm attracted to. So I will not pay for it. Should they come into my life, of course, I will use them. But there's not something that I would want to buy. Plus art supply that I really crave and I really want more of. Okay. Let's get started. I will start with the first section that incorporate the supply that I already own a few of them, but I don't use them enough to justify having more. And the first of these category is, the first is a soft pastel. I have a few uh, different set from different brand and uh, I'm not using them nearly enough. As you see, that's Everything is still here. If this is cut in half, it's because I broke them to put it in this little organizer that I can just have in front of me on my desk so that I will reach for them. Otherwise, I'm not really reaching for them. I am using them a little bit for mark making, but they are very powdery, so I'm not really doing a large area. If I end up doing a large area in purpose, I will settle them down with water and using as a background instead of watercolor for example which means i'm using less my watercolor to try to finish the soft pastel which doesn't make sense for me so i end up using just a little bit here and there and i still have a quite a bunch and probably they will last me a lifetime unless i suddenly end up using only soft pastel for any reason my second supply is that I don't want to buy any more of, but I own a little bit, it's an uh, alcohol marker. I'm not using them. I'm not thinking of reaching for them. And uh, yeah, the only time I'm using them is when I am consciously trying to uh, get through them so that they don't dry out because honestly it would really upset me to have bought something that will then just dry out on me and i have to throw it away so time to time i consciously trying to reach for them but it's not a supply that i'm naturally drawn towards so i cannot justify buying more of it with my own money so i'm not buying any alcohol marker anymore I'm not buying anymore 10 pages sketchbook. They just start and finish so quickly. It doesn't make sense for me and I'm just uh, not happy with that. It's frustrated that in a month, in a couple of months, I just get through them and then I have to start another, another, another and I'm just collecting a, a 10 pages sketchbook so i rather have a big compact sketchbook 
like for example this art creation from royal talent has a lot of pages in it it doesn't break it doesn't fly away and uh, yeah it's perfect this one pages they just get um, separate with the time and the glue disappear and they just finish super quickly so yeah I have quite a few of them to get through them. I had the subscription box for a while and a few I bought it myself. And then I just decided it's frustrated to have this sort of sketchbook. I don't want them anymore. Not buying them anymore. One more thing I don't buy anymore is watercolor sheet. These are peerless watercolor. And they are a bit annoyed. They are vibrant, they are beautiful as a paint, but they are messy, they stain, and it's a pain in the ass every time you want to paint to just lie them uh, all around. I did put them, uh, they were actually longer than this, uh, on a piece of paper so that I can have it in front of me and use it. Still, I prefer watercolor in pan or in tube. I don't like this sheet, so... I'm uh, not going to buy any more watercolor sheet. This I'm trying to get through this one and it's not about the quality, it's just about uh, not working out for me this style of art supply. I have a plenty of sketching pencil and I have even more lying around the house. I have a ton of mechanical pencil so honestly i'm not going to buy any more sketching pencil unless all of a sudden uh, i just get through them and i start to sketch a lot but i'm more drawn to color and color matching instead of sketching i love sketching but it's not a priority for me so i cannot justify buying any more sketching pencil I do think there are quite a few pretty sketching pencils out there, but unless I'm using them, no, no, no buying them anymore. Let's talk now about the things that I don't own, and there's no way I'm paying my money for it. They are things that I don't want to have in my life, and I don't see the needs for it. And should I ever buy them? I feel like it's just me giving up to the like social trend and uh, yeah so i put it out there i don't need those in my life i'm not going to buy them and to pay my money for it starting with masking fluid i don't know you guys but every time i see a youtuber using my skin masking fluid i got an anxiety episode it just takes so much time so much patient and like so much i i don't know anyway it gives me so much anxiety to see uh artists using masking fluid and understand the reason why people will use it especially if you are a watercolor artist and you do that specifically it may make sense but I am a mixed media artist, I just prefer layer color on top of other color and using a different supply to layer on top of different supply. So I, I really don't want to have a masking fluid, it's just, I don't know, it causes me anxiety, it just takes, it's, like, it's a precision job that I'm a big stroke girl, like, I take a big brush, I go, I paint, I put color in it. I don't want to have that little thing going around and I have to be careful where I apply. Mm, no, 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 no. Thank you very much. No. The same goes for watercolor ground. Yeah, I understand the reason why I exist, but uh, I don't want to have it. I don't want to be able to use watercolor on my wall. It's just... I use the paint that it need to be used because I love every type of supply and I own <laughs> most of the supply. So uh, watercolor ground doesn't really make sense to have it in my life. It's not something that I want to pay my own money for. Next item is a collapsible uh, water cup. 
it's very popular every artist seems to own one um i have my jar that i reuse from jam and other things that i'm eating and i use them for a while and i think they become a beautiful work of art on their own until my partner think is rubbish and throw it away and then i take another one but otherwise uh, honestly uh, i love my water uh, my glass jar that i can just repurpose and reuse and i don't need to buy a purpose one and i understand if you do plain air it may make sense uh, but i have two little one i i won't be able to do plain air for uh, a while for a while and should i have a garden or a little outdoor space just outside my home in the future i will still just use uh repurpose um cup and also honestly should i do plein air in the future i love just water brushes so i'm just going to use water brushes instead of buy a cup that then it will just take too much space anyway to take with me next item i'm not going to pay my own money for and this may cause a bit of controversy ah. it's watercolor ink i love my acrylic ink i own acrylic ink i love acrylic ink and i love to have supply that they don't reactivate they don't mix they don't move around simply because i work on layering so each time i do a creation i want one supply that can be reactivated not multiple supply because then they just start to mix um, uh, with each other so for the way i work the best is um yeah to have things that sit put and don't move around and reactivate and uh, i do understand the sense of it i love my acrylic ink they're just beautiful the way they flow and they move uh but yeah i stick to acrylic ink no watercolor ink for me same thing for watercolor marker i do own a bunch of acrylic marker and i use them just for mark making so for mark making i do love if i have something that uh, can work on everything and i know it will work on any kind of paint and supply it doesn't reactivate it will reactivate the paint underneath hopefully uh, so yeah i prefer acrylic marker to watercolor marker and for me it doesn't make sense to have both of them as as a, the same i'm not attracted to alcohol marker so i'll just stick to uh, my um, acrylic marker the last thing i'm not paying for is spray paint i'm not attracted to paint the float in the air uh, the idea of compressing air and chemical just floating around uh, it's not something i'm comfortable with I, as i said i have two small children and yeah i live in a small flat and it's not just feasible it makes me uncomfortable so i just don't want to pay for it i don't want to have it in my life and this is simply how things are now let's move to the third part of this video the excited one and the things that i do own and i want more of i'm not going to mention like i want more watercolor or i want more acrylic because that just goes <laughs> i want more of them one different brand comparing stuff but yeah some few of the supplier own that i need more of the collection because i enjoy them so much they've been featured already they are coming back and is my acrylic ink i love them so much i've been using them already a bunch i have just a small collection and i definitely 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 need a bigger collection of acrylic ink so yes once i finish my no buy i know that what i really really want is 
more acrylic ink because I actually use them and I enjoy use them and they are so versatile. I need more of them in my life. I definitely need the more neo color one. I love to use them for mark making. This is everything I own at the moment. It's not a lot. I need to grow my collection. I need to have a more color. I love using them and uh, yeah. I need, definitely need more of them in my life. But this is just a tiny little collection, very shy. Need to add more. I do need more of exactly this brand and this type of uh, acrylic, fluid acrylic. They are from Dalarani. I love that they come in this uh, pipette and I use them as well for mark making. And they just make beautiful mark and you can use them in so many ways. And this is the collection I have at the moment. I definitely need more of them because they are wonderful 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 to use i need more apparently i need more charcoal in my life but especially i need this charcoal pencil they, they just work so well at the way they layer and you can create something unbelievable and yeah maybe different shape of charcoal i've just owned this uh, willow charcoal and i definitely would like to have more charcoal to play with i don't have now exactly the time to do a lot of charcoal work but i enjoy doing a lot and i can definitely start to have a bigger collection i would love to know in the comment which one are or is the art supply that you will never pay your own money for simply because you don't feel like having it in your stash of our supply or don't you don't think it will add anything special to your life as an artist thank you so much for watching i'll see you at the next video bye